Dixie Square has been a place that we know has to be uh, changed fundamentally. And, uh, basically, what we have to do is demolish structures. We've got to remove asbestos. We've got to make sure this is a site. It's an excellent place, an excellent location for all kinds of retail, uh, development, commercial opportunity, and jobs. Jobs are the number one issue for all of us. We believe in jobs. There's no better way to fight poverty. There's no better way to fight crime. There's no better way to keep families together. There's no better way to help people than a J-O-B. That's what we believe in. And I look forward to the day, real soon, where we will get this site cleared of buildings that are, have to go, they have to be demolished, clean up the site, make sure there's no asbestos here, do it in a safe and sound way, we want to make sure that this is a site available for development because there's lots of people in the south suburbs. And we have a lot of mayors here today that are with us. I want to thank our mayors. They're on the front line every day for their community. They want to make sure we have good jobs and definitely have good city services. But in order to have that, you have to have good economic development. Companies that come and provide jobs, provide tax revenue, that's what it's all about in Illinois. It was in March of uh, 2009 when Governor Quinn uh, appointed me to become the director of uh, DCEO and one of the first meetings I had uh, in Springfield was with uh, Representative uh, Will Davis and Representative uh, Al Riley and they talked to me about the need to uh, take care of this eyesore that's behind us and they explained to me the history of Dixie Square Mall and the, the prior plans that had been put forth that had not been successful and they asked for my help uh, I talked to the governor about it we pledged our commitment to make sure that we came up with the kind of funding that could uh, lead to the demolition which is only the first step because what we really know we need to do is redevelop this property and turn it back into economic usefulness that creates uh, jobs. So the first thing we did was uh, uh, applied for some funding through the US EPA, through their Brownfield program, and then uh, later uh, in the year in 2009, funding became available as a result of flooding that had occurred in Cook County in 2008. Uh, so we had to put together a plan for the use of that funding, and we made sure that we built in a component that would be able to uh, assist projects like this one right here. And we work closely with, uh, with Harvey and the South uh, Suburban Mayors and Managers Association uh, to make sure that we would be able to use some of that funding out of the Community Stabilization Program uh, to, to take care of Phase 1, which will be the demolition of, of this facility. But I'm here to tell you this is only the first step. Uh, we, will, we have a commitment to helping rebuild uh, this uh, area and as well as all of the South Suburban communities. And It's a planner's dream. The South Suburban region is a planner's dream. I tell people sometimes, you know, drive through Harvey, drive through Dixmoor, drive through Phoenix, and, um, and see what was and see what can be. This is a beautiful area. You know, you've met a lot of people. Maybe some of you didn't know about our great council of governments, the South Suburban mayors and managers, um, and what they do, but get to know them. That's what collaboration is all about. This has been a long trip. Um, I guess I've been dealing with the uh, uh, city of Harvey for about 20 years in one capacity or another, doing consulting or giving data or whatever the, uh, uh, the thing was, uh, you know, I tried to do for them. This is something that is a long time coming. And one thing I want everybody to understand, you know, there was an iconic movie shot here. Everybody knows about the Blues Brothers. But there was nothing left after the movie. That's right. And the Blues Brothers was a comedy. But there's nothing comedic, there's nothing funny about trying to develop a community. That's right. That's right. And ever since then, that's what we've been endeavoring to do.